Hi everyone, it's Miss Broad and this is another year one big right session and this is session number three. And the one that you're looking for in your education pack is this picture here with the magnifying glass in what looks like a library. Now, as with all of your other big right sessions, there is a story starter to help you with this. So you're going to be planning your middle and end and then writing the story on the sheet provided. So let's have a look at the story starter together. It had been three days since it had gone missing. One minute he had held it in his hand. The next it had vanished. How could it have just disappeared? It had been right in front of his eyes. Only one clue had been left, which was sat on the living room table. Holding the magnifying glass up to his eye, Adam began to investigate. Now, I think this one is my favourite because I love a mystery. What went missing? What did it do? Where has it gone? What will happen next? And who is this sitting on the sofa? Now, there's lots of things in this picture that you can look at to try and give you clues about what might happen next. So have a really good look at the picture before you start writing. And remember to have a really good look at the story starter to make sure that you know what everything means. So I've pulled a few words out that you might want to investigate. One of the words is the word vanished. What does that mean? See if you can find out with your grown up and add it to your monitoring list from your previous Big Write sessions. Remember, you can start to use some of the words that you've collected to help you make your story a little bit more interesting. Another word that I have pulled out is the word disappeared. What does disappeared mean? And lastly, what is a magnifying glass? Have a think about those things before you start writing to make sure you understand what the story starter is about. Once you have done that, you can start planning your story. Now, once again, in Big Write at School, we always have music playing whilst we're doing this because it helps us to focus and think about what it is we want to write. Once you have decided what you're going to write about and you've discussed it with your grown up, then it's time to start writing your story. Now remember, we need capital letters at the start of a sentence, finger spaces between words. We need correct punctuation at the end of a sentence, such as full stops, question marks and exclamation marks. We also want you to try and join sentences together using the word and. Today, I also want you to try and use some really good describing words to describe what's happening. And see if you can add some prefixes and suffixes to some of your words as well. We really look forward to hearing your mystery stories. And we hope that you have fun writing them with your grown-up. Have fun and we'll speak again soon. Bye for now.